Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon. So be sure to text READY TO BUY, that's READY TO BUY, to the number on the screen. Starting pricing for low-end software $100 and starting pricing for high-end software $500. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal's buyer's protection guarantee. Anyway, Digger, you know, let's cut the Let's get to the meat and potatoes, girl. You know what's going on. You know what everybody want to talk about. There's a lot going on. What's the meat and potatoes? Lil Rod. Oh, the... And the... Mr. Diddy. <sighs> um, Diddy yeah. said... Your name, Little Rod. Has he responded? Is that true? Is is your rod really little? Inquiring minds. Why are you making that face? I can't. <laughs> I can't That's how Diddy it. looked at him. That's how Diddy looked at him. Um, <laughs> um, how does he responded? Well, I think through lawyers has, and shit. Has like he that. has he, he been responding? He's lying and all of this type of shit. So now, if I ever go on YouTube, I always see these little shorts of Puffy, but I don't know if if they are like in real time responding to what's going on right now, or if they just like uh, you know, clip ups of of older things. But there's a lot of this last um thing there. There's a a lot of names thrown in there. I didn't read all. <laughs> I didn't even begin. It's seventy three pages it's long. Seventy three pages. I don't. I didn't even see where to get those actual seventy three pages. But I have an article here from the L.A. Times. Um, it says Diddy Love producer Little Rod accuses him and associates of sexual assault, illicit behavior. Producer Rodney Little. Rod Jones has filed a bombshell lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, accusing the embattled media mogul of sexually harassing and threatening him over more than a year, as well as securing footage of Diddy and several of his associates involved in illicit behavior and alleged sexual assault. Jones, who seeks 30 million, that now see that number right there is a little suspect because that's what Cassie got. Right. Um, and so to go for 30 million, I will say that that's a little flaggish, um, but we'll get into my show. Fresh West. Thank you, sir. And congratulations to you once again, sir, for the honor bestowed upon you in your native land. <laughs> um, nah, for real. Um, I don't know if you know, but Maestro Fresh West just got some like crazy high honor out there in Canada and shit. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Congrats, um, my guy. Yeah. And he's always, man, a supporter of the Godcast. And we love him here. And that's our guy. We appreciate you, my brother. Um, so he's seeking 30 million in a federal lawsuit named he named several high profile figures in the entertainment business in the complaint. But only did his son Justin Dior Combs, uh, Universal Music Group Chief. Lucian Charles Grange and former Motown Records chief Ethiopia, whatever that last name is, uh, a studio and Diddy's chief of staff, Christina KK Corum, who they're calling like the Justleen Maxwell of the whole fucking operation. Um, Love Records and Combs Enterprises, they're named as defendants. Um, and what, what's crazy is all of these other names are getting tossed in the situation, but they are not. They're they're in the they're in this uh, lawsuit for only for because like, Diddy said that he fucked them all. <laughs> That's um, why. I I didn't I no I saw um, 
uh, they were at a party of his over here doing something else, or I I watched a tape of this one and that. And one. apparently, Diddy was bragging to this guy that he had sex with several of these people. Let me just let me just finish. You know, let me just read oh, go this ahead. article. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they go into little things here, and then we can. You know what I mean? This is a Chicago-born producer who produced nine songs on Diddy's 2023 The Love album, Off the Grid, filed the lawsuit Tuesday in U U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. In the 75-page complaint obtained Tuesday by the Times, his attorney, Tyrone A. Blackburn, said that Jones' life has been detrimentally impacted ever since. He agreed to produce the album in August 2022. Jones alleged that he was under an implied work-for-hire agreement with Combs and that he lived with the recording giant for months at a time in Combs' homes in Los Angeles, New York City, and Miami, as well as several weeks on a yacht rented by Combs in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Stop right there. Like, have you ever, in all the time that you've been making albums, I'm just, maybe I'm bugging. Have you ever, like, had to go live with anybody to make a fucking album? Huh? Digga, I'm asking you. No. No, I, I, I'm like I'm trying. No, I'm I'm thinking of instances. No, live with them. Live Look with them. No, weirdo shit. Now, like Kanye. Okay, give now, me Kanye, my own fucking crib. Now, like I, you know, Kanye set up something in Wyoming. So, so you. I'm right, sure he had guest quarters or something like that. Like right. Like, that's but but that that's what I mean. Like I, it's it doesn't. It sounds crazy in this lawsuit but there are plenty of producers that go to places that's their creative space and when you record with them when you're working with them you gotta go there like there was a period where Kanye was for recording in Hawaii for so, a year so he I'm not living with no man you see like if I know we gotta be out there for a year I get me a Get me a crib, rent me a hotel or some shit. I'm not staying at your crib with you. We two grown men. You see, but this is a nigga that lived with fucking now lived with with, with, with Andre Harrell. Wait, now hang on. Now 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 hang on. H hang on. Because if you're somebody like Puffy, you assume Puffy has a mansion with plenty of space to accommodate you. You're not. Nah, see, that's the nah, see. That's when you know when a nigga invites you into their crib, like that's almost so they can control you. Like when it's time to do business and all of that, when you're on somebody else's turf, they have the upper hand. That's why if you're doing a, a deal, don't go okay. to their office. Okay. Get them to yours or okay. go to a, new, okay. a neutral okay. place. Let me ask you this. Take Puffy out of it. If it was. I'm not going to live with nobody. Ain't nobody that you can ask, say. That I'm be like, yeah, I'll go live with that motherfucker for you. Okay, listen. <laughs> so, okay, 50, 50 Cent had Fifty Cent had a uh, had Mike Tyson's um compound. Well, he he mm -hmm. Mike Mike Tyson sold it. He purchased it. This is this was a G unit compound in Connecticut. He had in house producers recording for G unit they were out their output was at an all-time high every three weeks it was a new G unit member these in-house producers are coming to stay at the compound to work like that's not it that's not abnormal that's not I'm sorry that's not all right all right well all right let's keep going let's let's get to the abnormal <laughs> I mean, this is abnormal. <laughs> having, this is abnormal. Ha having a compound with your producers and your 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 artists working, keeping your artists focused, getting them out of the hood, away from the the products of their environment and the the ele you know the bullshit element. Yes, it is not abnormal for motherfuckers to house their artists to keep them on okay track. how about trying to get me to record you while you're butt naked in the shower that <laughs> is something else that is something else that is something else okay that's at least, something else at least we can agree on that okay <laughs> you want these stems <laughs> <laughs> go 
come come get these stems. <laughs> come get these stems. <laughs> Look, the Woo Mansion. Look, somebody put in the comment the Woo Mansion. Yeah, shit like that. That's what I'm saying. That's not abnormal. See, that's a bunch of rugged niggas, though. See. You, you that's, see, that's and when why, you name G Unit and all that, you're naming rugged niggas now. That, like, where it's that's like, why, but that's and now, why I'm, now in my mind, I'm like, but right, that's, that's why I right, said, that's different. if you, you know take mean? Harvey out of but it, this ain't what, no rugged nigga that you that, talk about. Wait, first of all, for the record, everybody now, knows for the, for the record now, Puffy was gang, Puffy was a little gangster. What? Puppy was a little gangster. He might have did gangster shit later on, but trust me, <laughs> he that's blowing not up in his blood. <laughs> that ain't in his blood. Like, like he just been around gangster shit long enough he that it was a gangster. he's feeling that shit in his. Trust me, when we was coming up as he kids, he was not no fucking gangster. He was a dancer. That's what the fuck he was. He was in the middle doing spins and all of this type of shit. And we was the guards on the fucking wall like this. Too cool for school, not dancing type of shit. That's the motherfuckers I rolled with. But I was there. Mount Vernon High School parties, all of that. No, nobody in your crew was in the party. Go, 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 go. Nah, nah. Try we to... did a little two-step. Sometimes the guards would do a little circle and shit. And we'd be like, our last girl, peace God. Our last girl, peace God. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But. We wasn't all about all that dancing shit. Like, you know what I mean? So the moral of the story And if we did is, dance, a girl is like against you and we against the wall type of shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, anyway, I digress. Um, Okay, but just let the record reflect that. Okay, it, okay. Maybe I'm, maybe you, I'm, you, I'm, you I'm, can I'm be a little hard or on. producer and, li and live in a compound. Okay, okay. We'll let that one go. We'll let okay. that one go. Um. Throughout his time with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones witnessed, experienced, and endured many things that went far beyond his role as a producer on the Love Album, the complaint said, and that Combs required Jones to record him constantly. I want you to record to me constantly. Um, <laughs> the multi-instrumentalist described himself as a heterosexual Christian man alleged that he was the victim of constant unsolicited and unauthorized groping and touching of his anus by Mr. Combs. Oh, you grab it. Um, and was uncomfortable with Mr. Combs's advances, expressing his complaints to Diddy's chief of staff, who allegedly told him, you know, Sean will be Sean. In response, Blackburn described Corin as the Ghislaine Maxwell to Sean Combs Jeffrey Epstein. He also alleged that Combs tried to groom him into engaging in, into engaging in sex with fellow producer Stephen Aaron Jordan, Stevie J, and promised to make sure that Mr. Jones wins Producer of the Year at the Grammys if he engaged in homosexuality. Whoa. <laughs> he also provided uh, Jones with alleged footage of people involved in sexual activity at Combs' home, which Jones believed was procured through hidden cameras throughout Diddy's properties. Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that, he's, that uh, has attended his freak-offs parties and his house parties. The complaint said, upon information and belief due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. Jones also alleged that he was sexually assaulted. Ah, now this one right here. <laughs> I got a little problem with this, but here we go. Jones also alleged that he was sexually assaulted by a cousin or assistant of rapper Young Miami, who has dated Diddy, was sexually harassed and assaulted by Oscar winner Cuba Gooding Jr., and obtained footage of rapper and R&B singer, whose names have been redacted from the complaint, consorting with underage girls and sex workers. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones' cell phone and began recording himself. As, as a result, Mr. Jones has 
secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs, his staff, and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity, the complaint said, which includes screenshots of several of the incidents mentioned in the complaint. The producer said that he secured irrefutable evidence of illicit activity, including Combs providing laced alcohol beverages to minors and sex workers at his home's and the rapper's acquisition use and distribution and distribution of ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms, as well as displaying and distribution of unregistered illegal firearms. That's a mouthful. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play the pause game. You know, now, fuck all that. Now. I my only my only pushback to that is how long are you going to stay at said compound? Right, while all this bullshit going on. Exactly. That well, that would give me that would but, have me side eye in this general. But again, here we go. I said this before you got here earlier. Money is the thing that makes people try to figure you know, like for the money we don't try to figure this shit out like 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 people will if there's a big uh, amount of money involved they'll let a lot of shit slide and that's the fucking problem i'm telling you i'm telling you like how, like how old is uh is there an age how, how old is this guy um he's You know, I'm not sure. My guess is he's in his 30s. Because, you know, you're not a, you're not a young child being manipulated. You're a grown ass man that made a conscious decision to stay there. Absolutely. Um. Right. We can get to all of that. That still doesn't mean that this shit didn't go on. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, like he might have put up with the grab ass more, way longer than anybody else probably would have. You know what I mean? But at the same time, and we question why would you stay so long? But that doesn't mean that the grab ass wasn't happening. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, oh, I, hey, I, I. Pfft. That's a wild. It's a wild story to be making up. Like it, it, it it's <laughs> you know, there's uh, there's there's money grabs, and then there's like, okay, I'm I'm just going to tell it all. Apparently, there was a shooting at a studio, and either Puffy or his son shot this dude, and he was forced to like tell the police that you know. They had nothing to do with it type of shit. And that the guy got shot by somebody outside, like on the drive by. Um, well, that's normal nigga shit. <laughs> like that, that, that happens. It said Jones also accused uh, the, the, the lady. I wouldn't be, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if like these freak offs and things were set up to to blackmail people later for shit yeah like okay i got you at my last freak off motherfucker. of course i, I better win the album of the year come on my, like my artist better you gonna clear this record for my artist or i'm sending it straight to your wife especially like, if he gets you to do some gay shit and then it's like nigga you know i got that on tape right all right so here's what we gonna do boom 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 all of it, um, the, the underage women. And... Hang on, let me. Because uh... I want to skip down a little bit past some of this. Oh, no. Maybe it was the other article. It's 73 pages to comb through. 
Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I got album this album. Too. That album was fresh. Did you did you ever check that album out? That R and B album was fresh. I mean, it was like nice. It was I like you, somebody said it was good. Somebody I said did. it was trash. Yeah, nah, you said it was good. But I then I had somebody dope. tell me it was trash. No, nah, it, it was it was a nice nod to to nineties R and B. Like if you if you lived through the nineties and listened to the radio, like it was it was that. Like now, if you're looking for auto tune T Pain hooks and stuff, no. But it was dope. You know, one twelve shit, dope. You know, like he. So apparently, Young Miami's involvement in all of this, right? Now, this is the part that I'm like, side eye. Says the cousin of Diddy's ex girlfriend is implicated in the lawsuit. Little Rod claims that she was present during the assault and that Diddy orchestrated the incident. The court alleges that young Miami's cousin attempted to gauge in sexual activity with Little Rod in the presence of Diddy and his staff. It says Mr. Combs was intoxicated and offered cocaine to Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones rejected him and proceeded to walk to the bathroom. The document read... Um, while using the bathroom, young Miami's cousin burst into the bathroom and began groping Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones uh, believes that Mr. Combs sent her in there to sexually assault Mr. Jones. As she entered the bathroom, she dropped to her knees and began performing oral sex on Mr. Jones' exposed penis. Mr. Jones pushed her away and ex um and exited the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So he was assaulted by a woman. Um so most niggas <laughs> I mean in the, in this chat Are probably gonna have a hard time <laughs> wrapping their brain forcing around a girl away. <laughs> <laughs> That's forcibly giving them head. Well, in this in the spirit of fairness, men can be victims too. This is true. I'm just saying. I believe a lot of what he's saying. I believe a lot of the grab ass shit that was going on. Oh I my believe. god, this girl tried to give me head. What the fuck? I'm so <laughs> traumatized. I mean, hey, he he said he was no. He's a Christian no. man. Oh, like like I can this just see Christ him now. Like this Christian man. Like I'm not, a Christian man. Not one no. scarlet lips on his extremities. What? Young lady, no, I no, no. <laughs> whereas, whereas most niggas in this chat will be like, no, uh, no, no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so now, given everything, now given everything you've heard, now unless you was in a committed relationship. Then you might be like, hey, hey. He was in a committed relationship and, with God. And, and even a committed relationship, I just feel like a nigga. I'm not laughing at this well, man I, getting assaulted by women. Women are. Uh, I feel like the nigga was like, too, damn like <laughs> before, before he, like, like, like you go to push it off, but it like, it just be a delayed push. Like, like, please be okay. Gentle. All right, get off. Uh, please be like... gentle. Harsh but gentle. <laughs> this is not funny. Oh, all right, get off of me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get off. I'm not that kind of. I'm not that kind of. But yeah, that's the only part that uh. Sounded a little he suspect. Said, if I'm gonna tell it, um, then you gotta tell it all. It said it said Diddy allegedly claimed to have engaged in sexual intercourse with Stevie J, a well-known music producer. 
The court documents redacted the names of a rapper and an R&B singer. However, they were tantalizing hits. Hence, the rapper is described as someone who a rap uh, lived in Philly and once did uh, dated Nicki Minaj. And the R&B singer uh, supposedly performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Well, who would those people be? My guess would be allegedly uh, Meek Mill and uh, Ursher. And the, the terrible thing is when you're reading the headlines that are out now, it's saying such and such, such and such, such and such, name, named in the, you know, named in the suit. They're so, not named in it. Right. It's just hints. Right. But no, but people like you read that and then people are, you know, piggybacking off of this information and they're, you know, if they're doing a blog or they're doing whatever tea time, then they're they're put they're naming people because it said Nicki Minaj named in the suit. So if you're if you're just scrolling through the timeline and you're reading headlines and saying Nicki Minaj, Stevie J, you know, my, oh, it's like just naming people named in a suit, and you're thinking like, well, oh my god, like. But then you find out it's like they're just being they're essentially just being name dropped, right? Um, he all he also launched a GoFundMe campaign to support his legal battle. Now I know some people might look at that as shady, but I don't know. I mean, do the lawyers cost money? Like you know what I mean? Um, maybe he needed that bread to pay for his lawyer. You know what I mean? He needed that little retainer. I mean, he money. probably does. I I I I'll put it like this: this if this is a wild. This is a wild suit for a money grab. So I right. And, and like I always, if, it, if it wasn't, that's. I, but I, but I always believe there's three sides to every story. I believe there's probably some embellishment. I believe there's probably some truth, and then there's you know, and then there's the third story. You know, there's, there's too many sides. stories about about Diddy doing all this freaky shit. Like there is. He's, I mean, He's he's let shit slip too many times. He's called niggas daddy too many times out in public and all this type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, so it's like a lot of this weirdo shit that he says about this dude, I could totally believe. Yeah, could there be embellishment here and there? Sure. You know what I mean? Like, but at the end of the day, when you start telling stories that make you look bad too, like, you know what I mean? Like, you right. look bad for, for getting your ass grabbed and letting that, allowing that shit to happen. Like, you know what I mean? Like, told right. nigga, ain't nobody good. Nigga, you grab my ass, you go into the upper room. Like, ain't no fucking second time and third time to be doing no shit the first time you grab my ass. And to know? be perfect, you know, and just, you know, and just for clarity, we're not victim shaming because I, I never want to, you know, I never want to put the onus on the victim. Like if you were assaulted, then that's that's a uh, that's that's a that's a terrible thing. And listen, you, I mean, yes, it is. You know what I mean. But certain assault, you know what I mean. Like you can respond to it. Like yeah, like absolutely, if you choose yeah. not to, that just absolutely. shows your your particular character. Like uh, I don't mean. Uh, whether it's shaming or not, I don't know. That's on you. I probably would feel shameful if I didn't respond, though. I don't. Me, I don't personally. I yeah, feel like, shameful. But like I'm I don't know what I can't. I'm ima I can't, ima you. I can't imagine what his, you know, what his real life circumstances was like. Would he, if he would have left the compound, would he have been, uh, you know, would he have been homeless? Did he have nowhere else to go? Like, there's so many, and that's why I said money. There's makes so people many, many, put up with a lot of shit that they wouldn't necessarily put up with if money wasn't involved. And that's what's the fucking shame. That money will make you compromise so much shit in this world. It'll make you compromise your morals and your values and all kind of shit. It'll make you do things that seem absurd. Well, why would he stay that long? Because exactly, because if he left... 
The nigga was going to be homeless. Da, 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 da. He felt like this was finally his big break. He's been trying to do shit. And that's why they pick people like that. That's why they'll pick a nigga like you. Why you think he picked a, a no? We never heard a little rod and, and, and Puffy picks you to do, uh, produce almost his whole album. He fucking knew that you was in a certain position, probably, and all of that. Yeah, I'm going to get a nigga like that. You know what I mean? Like, these niggas be playing chess. You out here just trying to get on the board. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. these motherfuckers be scheming and plotting. And, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it probably was that type of situation. Like, yo, if I, I, I this is my big break. Without this, I'm going to have nothing, Like. Right. We ain't never heard of Little Rod. He's probably talented as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's it's but but still, I'd rather be homeless and all of that type of shit. I just don't fucking get my I ass just, grabbed. I just don't understand how like, like we a fucking if, dude. If anybody is if anybody is familiar with like R. Kelly history, like if you was out here, if you was out here being nasty, man. You had to like have watched how R. Kelly shit played out and said to you, and and you had to at some point have thought to yourself, I right, I need to chill. But nah, they probably like some niggas. Like, well, I'm glad. Uh, I glad. Uh, I'm glad it's him. You know, and maybe they get scared in the moment, but then once that shit dies down, motherfuckers go right back to their shit. You know what I mean? And it, it's, you know, what else is crazy too? It's crazy how you can have a 20, 30, 40 year legacy that just could just be eradicated in a day. Like, I feel like as soon as, as I feel like as soon as, you know, Cassie's suit went public, like, it was just like, uh, it's over well, isn't right. that what happened in the Me Too movement? Once somebody went public, it started and made a fucking snowball of all kind of Me Too motherfuckers coming out. And y'all wanted to believe every goddamn one of them. <laughs> oh, we got to start believing our women and stop. Da, 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 da. That's what y'all said. Like, and yeah. this is this is Me Too. It, this is Me Too. This is beyond this is me too. Shit, yeah. This is this is this me is three. This is <laughs> beyond me too. I, I think, uh, 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 but a lot of the people that did get me tooed had a history of it. There's been rumblings for years and decades. Well, there's been rumblings for years about Puffy. I mean, this is what I'm saying. There's yeah. been, you, you know what I mean. But then there were there are some people that's different from. Okay, we had a bad date and you just misread my signals, bitch. I wasn't jacking you like that. That's different from you are there is a history rumor mill about you. <laughs> you funny, truly Zambian. He said, This is all conspiracy to bring the black man down. Puff Daddy Pop was gonna buy CBS. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what up, truly Zambian? Uh, first of all, I don't know if you missed it, but I just want to let you know that, um, I did not go to Egypt. Um, (laughs) not fully, you know, I was listening to what everybody was saying that night. I already in my, in my heart felt like, I don't know if you should go over there. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, my pop's ashes ended up going over there. So that all worked out or whatever, but you had me crying that night, truly Zambian. He was talking shit about just how uh, Egypt be kind of anti-black, like, you know what I mean? Like, these motherfuckers be on some pro-Arab anti-black shit, even though that we're the ones that built all that shit over there. Um, and he just didn't like my man that I brought on the show that was promoting the trip to go to Egypt and all of this type of shit. And, a lot of people was like, fuck that. I wouldn't go, Lord. Like, you know what I mean? And I just wanted to shout out to all the people that was kind of telling me not to go. And I, y'all, y'all, y'all a little help me swim, make my decision too. You know what I mean? Like, who is an anti black? <laughs> Everybody's yeah, black. Yeah. But I don't know. Something inside me was just like, don't go over there. Bro. I know someone that just took a, you need tri- to uh, took a trip to Egypt. It, it was, uh, 
Yeah. I mean, but they they said they, you know. Yeah, I them. mean, now it might be, you know, it might be a little crazy right now, but um, I mean, people do it all the time. Um, well, listen, you know, more is going to be revealed. I'm just saying, man. They say when there's smoke, there's fire. There's a, I mean, there's a hell of a lot of smoke going on right now. With Mr. Combs. Not, a shit does not look good. 